Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Davalos and today we're going to learn about homographs. This is unit eight, week two, day number two. But first we're going to read our spelling words. Please repeat after me. Farmer, teacher, visitor, actor, sailor, baker, writer, doctor, dancer, inventor. So now we're going to do the say it, move it. The red dot comes down. I'll say a sound. At the end, I'll tell you, I'll ask you to tell me the word. Er, ow, mm. What word? Frown. Er, a, g. What word? Flag. D. R. E. N. K. What word? Drink. P. E. K. N. E. K. What word? Picnic. A, P, a word, chop, U, A, N, Ch, a word, lunch. Okay, so now we're going to get our fists ready, and I'm going to say a word, and we're going to do the sounds together. Okay, kick, K, E, Ever, e, v, er. Flavor, f, u, a, v, er. Cartoon, k, r, t, u, n. Spoil, s, p, oi. Oh. Seesaw. S e s a. Okay, we're going to learn about homographs. What are homographs? Homographs are one or two or sometimes even more words that are spelled the same or alike, but they have different meanings. It can be pronounced the same or have different pronunciation. The words we're going to work with today have the same pronunciation. That means that we say them exactly the same and the spelling is the same. However, depending on the sentence is what the meaning is going to be. Let's begin. B, like in bicycle. A, like an apple. T, like in tomato. The word is bat. Okay, so we're going to look at our sentence for the word bat, and let's figure out what it means. I used a bat to hit the ball in baseball. Mm. So bat is something that you can hit the ball in the game called baseball. So a bat is a, uh, like a stick. It looks like a stick. That's the bat. Okay, now we're going to look at the bat in a different sentence. The bat hangs upside down from the tree branch. So it's something that can hang upside down on a tree. So what could it be? A bat. In this case, it's a bat that can fly. Like in puma. Uh, like in lemon, a, like in train. And the word is play. We play, we like to play at the playground. So I know that it's something that I can do at the playground. So the kids play at the playground. See how they play? So now I know the meaning, to have fun. I went to the theater to watch a play. 
So now the word play is something that I can watch at the theater. And here's the theater and you're sitting down watching the play. Like in fossil, l, like in lemon, o, like in boat, t, like in tomato. And the word is float. Okay, the child will be able to float in the pool with his floater. So in this case, the word float is something that you can do in the pool where there's water. And he's using a floater that means that something that keeps him above the water. It floats, it doesn't sink. So there's the little boy with his floater going to the pool to be able to float. Now let's look at the other meaning for float. I tried the root beer float and it was so good. So it's something that you can try, that you can taste. In this case, it's a drink, float. The, the, the soda called root beer with ice cream, vanilla ice cream is a root beer float. Like in fossil, A, like in train, er, like in rabbit, fair, fair. Now let's look at the first meaning. We had so much fun at the fair. So that means it's a place where I can have a lot of fun. In this case, there's, there's uh, things that I can go on, rides, right? Now let's look at another kind of fair. They argued that it was not a fair election. That means they didn't feel that they were treated fairly. D, like in dolphin. A, uh, like an umbrella. K, like in canoe. And the word is duck. The duck swims in the lake. Well, I know that it's something that can swim in a lake, so it must be the animal that we know, the duck. Now we're gonna look at another meaning for the word duck. We have to duck, cover, and hold during the, an earthquake. To duck, cover, and hold means to go down, like in a fetal position, Right, like right here, we duck to go down. So that's another meaning for the word duck. P, like in puma, e, like an inch, ch, like in chair. And the word is pitch, and then er, like in bird, pitcher, pitcher. I have a pitcher of water with lemon. So it's something that I can put water in and even add some lemon, a pitcher. There it is. That's the first meaning for pitcher. Now we're gonna look at another meaning. The pitcher struck out. That means it's someone, the er, someone, that can struck out, like in baseball. We're using it as a different meaning, a person that throws the ball during a baseball game. <sighs> like in fossil, l, like in lemon, i, like in pie, and the word is fly. Let's look at our first meaning. The birds fly high in the sky. Now, if the birds fly, that means that they can move their wings and fly away. So it's about animals that can go up in the sky, fly. I saw a fly on my food. Now they're talking about, first. the first one was a, a verb something that they do, they fly. Now we're talking about a noun. I saw a fly on my food. And this is the fly they're talking about. 
See, says, looks the same, sounds the same, but it has different meaning depending on the sentence. P, like in Puma, R, like in car, K, like in karate. And the word is park. I celebrated my birthday at the park. So it's a place where I can have a party, a birthday party, like this. That's the park. They're using the sentence and the, the meaning of the word park is a place where there's a lot of trees and it's green and I can celebrate my birthday. I took a long, it took a long time to find a place to park. It took a long time. And I'm looking for a place to park. Now, it's not a, a place where there's trees now. Now, it's a different meaning. Now, they're talking about like a parking spot right here. To park is the verb. In this case, it's you, they're using it as a verb, something you do with your car. B, like in bicycle. A, like in apple. N, like a nest, K, like in karate, and the word is bank. Okay, so let's look at our first clue. I am taking all of my money to the bank for safekeeping. So I know that in this sentence, it is a place where I can put my money in so that I can keep it safe. So it must be the bank where people deposit their money in. Now, there should be another another meaning for the word bank. Did you see the river bank? Now, in this case, it's a river bank. It's talking about something relating with the river, which means a body of water. Like in Puma, eh? like an egg, mm, like a nest, and the word is pen. My mom used a pen to sign the permission slip. Oh, so in this case, the word pen is something that you can write with, because that you signed the permission slip. So it's a pen. <coughs> now, our next sentence, the farmer clean, cleans the pig's pen daily. Oh, so it's uh, the pen is where pigs are kept. So this is a pig pen. Now it's being used in a different way. So now we know that they're talking like the area where the pigs are kept is called a pen. And that's the end of the lesson.